One of the more challenging things is sketching a vector valued function in three dimensions. There are a couple different ways to go about it. Some of them have recognizable forms like this one. Could we plot points? Absolutely. But here we see we have a familiar form in my X component and my Y component. That's the parametization of a circle. A circle, sure, whose radius is four. So in my X, Z, I have a circle. That's right here. What do you notice in our Y coordinate? That sucker's linear, huh? Sure. So we have a circle in our x, z, and then it's going to go linearly on y. If we take a look at this, um, my trace in the x, y plane, it's going to be a cosine wave? Sure. x, y. x, y. Cosine going down y. In my x, z plane, it's going to be a circle. So if we were standing down y and we were looking at x, z, we're going to see a circle. Here, if I was standing on z and I was looking down at the plane, I would see a cosine wave. And here, if I was standing on x or looking down x into the y, z, we see a sine wave. Good times. Go ahead and graph this guy. Where is it at time zero? R is zero. This is four cosine zero, zero sine zero, or four times. So what's the cosine of zero? Yeah, that'd be one. Fun. Yes. So it's going to be at four, zero, and the sine is zero? That's zero. So it's going to be four on the x? zero on the y and zero on the z. Maybe you want to plot another point. Plot another point. Um, how about r of, what's well, going to be nice? You want to use pi over two? Pi over two. So then, this is four. Cosine, pi over two. Pi over two. And four sine, pi over two. Sure. Cosine pi over 2. I think 0. Then we're going to have pi over 2 on our y. And then on our z, we see that we have 4. Sure. So if we're going to put that point, x is 0, y is pi over 2. That's a little bit over 1 and a half. So if that's 4, 1 and a half is here. And then where is it? It's 4 on the z. 4 on the z. Sure. So it's 0 on the x. Um, pi over 2 here and up four up there. So we see our spiral is going like this. Down. Z. And when you do these, when you do these sketches, you need to include your orientation. And of course it doesn't loop over, it's because it's all 3D and stuff. Okay, so you're going to see it's going to be traveling along a cylinder whose radius is 4, on the outside of course, in a linear fashion.